Hey, this is Guido coming at you with a tactics talk. I'm here in my French FCM 50T Tier 8 premium tank. It's a heavy tank, but runs a lot like a medium. Taking a look at the teams as we're starting to deploy, we've spawned on the north side here. It looks like it's going to be a tough battle, and they're a little bit heavier in armor and a little bit heavier in tanks. So right off the bat, for Corellia, I'm thinking, you know what, we've got to take this donut right here and then I've got to remain flexible because I'm probably going to have to put out a lot of fires in this game. So this one is called Be Flexible. Be Flexible. So the first thing I'm going to do as I said is I'm going to try to get up to the donut. That's this area right here. As you can see the 50T is a pretty fast tank so I'm going to head right up there immediately. And I have some heavies coming my way. Got a T26E5 wandering off to the north, and an M44 scouting in the north, or whatever he's doing. So the good news for me right here is they don't have anyone fast enough to get around that corner, or nobody came, at least until right there, and I am just able to get by. I'll take a shot. That's why I was pointed that way with my turret. Take that shot of opportunity, and right off the bat, I'm coming up to the top. Now realize they only have one M44, so the arty threat right here is fairly minimal. I'm going to start taking shots at this T-44 here. Another thing to note is this recording was done before Auto Aim Plus was illegal. So if you notice me using it, which I do, then just know that that was while it was still legal. All right, so I'm going to keep working on this T-44. It's going to cost me some hit points, but I have to get rid of this guy. Now this CDC comes in, and he rubs against me there. you got to give people room to work, and that's one of the reasons why you want to stay a little bit further away from people. Unfortunately, I'm going to come around here. I'll prioritize this T-37. I thought he was a one-shot. Do not kill him. And now we're going to kill that 44. Okay, so the first part of flexibility, I have taken this donut, and I figured I needed to do that because I didn't want to get stuffed at this corner with all their armor, potentially, that could be there. And if they took the donut plus had all that armor, we were going to be in a herding status. And you can see that I have a considerable amount of my team just camping back at Cap. One guy wandering off alone. So this is really not looking good. Plus we're down some pretty good tanks. So let's see how this thing plays out. I considered going down there and starting to take out the T-26 and the IS-3 over there. The problem is IS-6. The problem is this tank doesn't have much armor, does it? So peak of booming down there. And look where my heavies are. They've sat back there on the corner even though we've been able to take the donut. So what I will do is decide that disc discretion is a better part of Valor. And I will move up here towards the top. There's going to be a little bit of indecision. Now I am watching the mini-map. What I'm watching for is if those heavies in the south start pushing. And my T-34 and my Oho buddy over there should let me know. And I'm just looking for the rest of their team because I'm thinking, wow, I see some of them. But where on earth are the rest of these guys camping in the middle? I know that IS-3 is right there. And I'm thinking, well, I need to go get him. Unfortunately, if I get close to him, he's going to spot me. And good news, the T, the SU, the Su-100Y is not very smart. He says I'm being hit, so I'm going to point towards where I'm being hit, and he dies. Once again, checking the mini map. Those heavies down there are not pushing, and holy cow, ours are pushing. But I can tell that we got serious problems in the north, don't we? They have killed a lot of our tanks. Oh, there's the AT. He's wandering around to the middle. So good on their. TDs for driving out in the middle, but he's actually going to get by me. Move a little bit to look for that shot, and I'll just shoot into where he was. Again, considering if going back down there to help with the heavies, but we have so many pushing into them, I figure that that small force is dealt with. And the reason I was fairly confident of that is if they had had more of their heavies down there, more than likely they'd have pushed into us. And I can also tell that there's quite a few tanks up north. So I'm fairly confident that our heavies will be able to deal with their smaller force there. So while we had a slightly worse team, they their team did a fairly bad job of deployment. Had they simply come through the south, they'd have rolled, over, rolled us over. And it looks like another one of their heavies has showed up. Now you'll see when I shoot, I'll zoom out. I'm actually checking on that T-26 going through the middle. I'm sort of trying judging where he is and where I am in regards to the bushes. Because if he was actually driving towards me, I may want to stop shooting or back up a little bit and keep some distance between us so he doesn't spot us. The good news is he's now going away from us, away from me, and I haven't been spotted, so I'm just going to end up farming him as he moves up the middle. And I'm sure you're saying to yourself, my goodness, what a bunch of idiots. And 
with most good games, it takes a compliant enemy, meaning they suck. <laughs> so we'll keep farming this guy. Why he's driving straight up the middle, I don't know. I end up tracking him on that one, unfortunately. And we got him. You can see, as I shoot, I'll zoom out and look around. You get pretty stuck in the soda straw looking at somebody that you're shooting over and over again. Sometimes you don't notice someone drive right up behind you. Uh, again, now I'm thinking about going and helping our heavies, but I realize that the cap still has issues. A T25AT, an STA1, and a T3485 were all seen over there. And it's just that T29 that's camping. And it looks to me like there are plenty of heavies taking care of that last guy. And there you go. We now got some guys on cap. Good deal. T29s at least. If he's going to camp, he can spot people. Take a shot on him. Try to move forward. So I'm just bounding forward. But the STA1 decides to charge the T29. So I will do this at a standoff distance. Looking to shoot him. He's actually not going to go through there. He's going to come back around. Fortunately, the T3045 is either preoccupied or has decided not to come help his buddy. And we take down the STA-1. There's a T-25. You're going to see it here in a minute. That's working over the T-29. And this is probably the point where, as I'm being flexible, I actually drop the ball a little bit. I get fixated on the T-3485, and you will see the T-25AT show up right there. Either myself or the CDC spotted him. And he has spotted us, and I just keep coming up... I do not realize he's there for quite a while. I'm so fixated on getting this 3485. You'll see when I notice him. Just about right there. So there he is. Take a shot. Back up behind that rock. You'll see me now angle my tank a little bit more. So I can try to get a bounce if he's shooting at me. But nope, he doesn't. And now I can just sit here and shoot away because he's trying to run off. That was a bad idea on his part. He should have just sat there and tried to duke it out. He really didn't have many options. And this is something else good players will do. He's going to disappear, but I know roughly where he is, so I'm just going to lay that shot in there just in case. And I got him. And we've cleaned up the 3045. So there you go. Being flexible, I moved down to the donut. Considered pushing with the heavies, but didn't want to get my face wrecked with my lightly armored tank. Moved back to the top. I saw a situation developing in the north, so I flexed over towards that area, obviously from the sniper post. The good news is people were spotting them, could take them out from there. And then I came back off of the perch there and pushed back towards Cap when I saw that it was no kidding endangered. And what we'll do here is go chipmunk speed because it's always fun to see the arty get killed. Dun, 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 dun. Here he is. Two times speed, he's going to miss. Yes, he misses. And I ram him for the kill. All right, y'all. Hope this helped you. Catch you later.